Classical painting usually involves live models, but how do you teach lost and forgotten painting techniques during a pandemic? I'm Nick Chockham in Culver City, where one instructor teaches to find art over a webcam. Contemporary art gets most of the attention in LA, but for many fine artists, it all starts with real life. Art instructor Roberto Jaramilla teaches at an atelier where students are trained in realism. A time-honored tradition where masters pass on their fine art skills to apprentices, Roberto sees it as an opportunity to not just expand the color of his palette, but painters as well. So historically speaking, white men have dominated the art world, but today people of color, minorities, women, they're picking up the brush and adding a new perspective to the world, making it more interesting. Roberto teaches at the Klein Academy, where students learn lost and forgotten painting techniques developed hundreds of years ago by the old masters. And when it comes to learning how to paint Renaissance-style portraitures, it's best to work with live models. But since COVID-19 forced them to shut down all in-person classes, they decided to go back to basics. Well, the next best thing is working from casts and working from sculptures uh, that emphasize the human form, emphasize someone's portraiture, um, emphasize just basically how light interacts with form. Originally from New York, Robert was inspired by his visits to the Met, but didn't train at an atelier until he moved to Los Angeles. Now a master of his own, he teaches students how to paint realism, which can translate into jobs in storyboarding, animation, and the special effects industry. So right here is one of our favorite models, you know, good old human skeleton. You know, today you go into a gross anatomy class and you might be surprised you'll see some artists there. When Klein Academy started offering Zoom classes, painter Rob Mitchell signed up right away. After years of training, he didn't want to lose all his hard-earned skills because of a pandemic. More importantly, Rob hopes to see people of color depicted in artworks that historically only depicted European men. If you go to the Sistine Chapel, you'll look up at the ceiling, you're not going to see any people of color up there. And Rob wants to change that. 500 years from now, you'll see that progression and you won't just see the faces you see today on the Sistine Chapel. You'll see all types of different cultures and, and colors and races in that genre of Renaissance art. And Roberto is confident we'll eventually see that as long as art students stay engaged. Um, art is about the human condition and it's important to continue your artistic training from home, online, and still be creative. Paint yourself into history.